now is a 1,250 point line for me plus whatever's above me, whatever they generated. That's still that line. Let's say I put them in Bill's line. Whatever Bill produces, whatever Mary produces, whatever Ella produces, then Ed down at the bottom produces, he becomes a pace setter. He's 1,250 points just by himself. So that flows all the way up that line. Every one of these now have a pace setter line. He's got a, a line with 1,250 points. She has a line with 1,250 points. Ella has a line with 1,250 points because Ed's at the bottom of it and he put in 1,250 points. So they all have the benefit of rank advancing on those points even though they have no idea who Ed is. We have tried to develop a teamwork aspect with this so that you can never give away your money but you can help as many people as possible drive rank. And guess what? Rank drives weekly base pay. So imagine having helped 31 people satisfy a line requirement toward pace setter on someone they don't even have a clue who that person is, but yet now they're making at pace setter 500 bucks a month. Weekly base pay, it's 200 bucks a month. So just base pay alone, you're giving them a gift of 200 bucks a month if they hit pay setter. So this compensation plan is designed for teamwork and to reward the correct behaviors, which is not give away personal sponsorship. I don't know how many times I have said that. Never give away personal sponsorship. So you don't, it's designed so you don't have to give that away because you keep the money, but you can bless as many people as possible by placing points at the bottom of each of your weakest lines as needed. Yeah. Bob, another question. Uh-uh. What did he just call me? Bob. What is my name? Bob. I am way too young to be a Bob. Come on. Kill me. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> um, I can't say way too handsome to be a Bob, because Bob's way more handsome than me. He. I don't go by Bob. I go by Rob. Thank you. Go ahead. Way too Australian to be a Bob. Yeah, I'm way too... <laughs> Go ahead. Um, look, the, Bill. the placement <laughs> tree. Two questions. The placement tree. How do you do it, and how long do you have before you can move that person? Okay, excellent question. Let's build it out. Okay, his question was this: How long do we have before we have to place somebody? Thirty days. Thirty days. And what was your first question? <laughs> Oh, how do you do it? Oh, how do you do it? Like, what's the strategy behind it? No, how do you do it? Oh, it's in your virtual office. Okay, his question is, is technically, how do I place somebody? In your virtual office, you just have everybody with a dot next to their name, a red or a green. If it's green, you can still place them. So, it literally, you can see exactly who it is, and you can, are we, did we drag it and drop it? So, we were developing, I'm glad that's ready. You literally just grab the name and drop them where you want to. A box will pop up and say, are you sure you want to do this? Because you can't change it once you place them. And you say yes, and it'll place the individual easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, hold that thought. Okay, so my enroller tree, I'm going wide, right? I'm enrolling, I'm enrolling, I'm enrolling. My placement tree, so far, we're going. This is me, I'm a handsome black man. Um, <laughs> there you go, Bill, you and me, brother. <laughs> All right, so as you're going to build, seven starts to build. Seven is still within my 30-day period, okay? Seven just happens, let's call seven Ed. Ed goes out and starts building within my 30-day window. I still have the ability to replace Ed, but Ed's not stopped. Ed's still building his business. He got in, he's focused on his fast track, he's focused on getting his four wide, he's focused, right? He's building. But he's still within my 30 days, which means I have the ability as a leader to strategize where is the best place to place it. Now, there's a couple, like psychologically, there's a couple ways you can use that. You can be like, hey, Bill, how long have we known each other? Like 11 minutes? Listen, I got a guy named Ed who's already crushing it. He's 28 days in. I got two days to place him. You make the decision to come into the business, I'm going to pop Ed on your, on your team. So I'm going to kick you. I'm going to kickstart you with four people right out of the gates, but you got to make the decision right now to join the business. So his question was, what's his immediate benefit for making the decision? Number one, he gets to work with me, right? And 
and fill in the blank, me is you, right? That's one benefit. You gotta, you, you gotta come at this. People smell desperation. They don't wanna work with someone who's desperate. They wanna work with someone that says, I got your back, let's go to work, it's time to build. I'm gonna throw it on your team to kickstart your business right now, but you gotta make the decision today. So now Bill goes like, why wouldn't I? I think I'm gonna do it anyway, I might as well do it now, I'm gonna get Ed on my team. Then immediately, I can move Ed, let's just show you, I have a graphic. So as we're going, I can then move Ed under Bill, my placement tree shows Ed on level two, which means, Bill, number three, just got all the points for Ed's entire business. Kickstarting him on day one, he's got those points as part of his network points. Right? So that already helps him toward rank. In fact, if Ed has more than 80 points, he becomes a consultant 80 on day one. Because there's no line, there's no line requirements for consultant levels. 100% of the volume counts toward your points. So monetarily for him, he gets, as he starts to rank advance, he will then get those points toward his check. But as far as rank pay, base pay, he has to get to P160. As soon as you get to P160, it goes to 40%. So I'm not gonna give Ed to him and he's all of a sudden gonna get 10 bucks a week on Ed because that would be silly for the company to give away money. So once we start paying base pay, there's line requirements. So one line will a business one line will not a business make. Did I get that right? I got that. Right. So then he'll have to go out and build outside of Ed in order to get to promoter 160 in order to start making weekly base pay. But Ed will still count as a line for him toward him getting that rank. So we put the gas pedal down, time to go to work. That was way funnier in my head. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, so any questions about placement versus sponsor? And then I think I'm over on time. So you, you can't, I didn't see any signs flashing. Oh, we're